Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. So this is my second attempt at recording this because the first attempt, well the game crashed. So I don't know if that's going to happen again. I hope not. It's cra it crashed again last night as well so I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's just a, like a, I have to download an update or something. Possibly an update. I don't know. Hopefully though it doesn't happen again. I need a word with you, Morgan. Yeah Bill, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just hold your horses. Uh, if you could leave a like and a comment down below, and if you haven't done so already, do think about hitting that subscribe button. And now that that's out of the way, let's go and see what Williamson wants. Arthur. Yeah, no yeah. We need you in a bag, to you. Hold your horses. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow Leopold me. Strauss really is just an oil slick of a human being, isn't he? Like such a weasley little fuck. All yeah, right, let's ride on this job that Bill Williamson has set up. So really, it's not a it's not like it's not a case of maybe something will go wrong. It's a guarantee. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl. Nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Need a work. Once he's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah. Best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. 
Alright, right, don't drive into the carriage, you stupid idiot. No, drive. I mean ride. Ride into the carriage. It's gone quiet all of a sudden. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, it's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Jose, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. Okay, what else? Uh, how do you feel about uh, this, Lenny? So... How are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that? And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this then. This is a really long ride. How far away is Valentine from Rhodes? Then again, we aren't really galloping, are we? This is more of a canter. So it makes sense. You did well. That gang at Shady Bell? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. <laughs> not through lack of trying? Nah, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. That'll have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. I do like how dynamic that feature is like when you're in the middle of a conversation and something happens like just now entering town um, the conversation will stop but it's not like abrupt like in some games it's like the main character will go all oh, right yeah no, we'll talk later or something sort of touch in a lot of games in a lot of games that would just end in that scene like really abruptly ah this is so slow but then again you don't want to draw attention to us so Slow and steady. Good afternoon. Hey, we're just those people who shot up the town like three days ago, maybe a week. Then again, yeah, that's been a few. Well, no, it's been a few days. That little scene, tran little sand tran transition after you move camp only says a few days. So, all right, gentlemen. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. I suppose it's long enough for no one to Get recognize ready. us. I guess. Go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Hey, mister. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drugs hey. from Harlot? Harlot. 
course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Should I put the mask on? I really think you should leave, madam. I'm not leaving till I Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Sorry. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn hands up. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just pointing a gun at people. Alright. It's unlocked! We're good! Oh! Oh, you think oh. we're here? No! Oh. 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 Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh! Oh! Slow. I'm basically an impatient bank robber. Come on. How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Son of a bitch, hurry up. Come on. Okay. Ah, you pushed me. All right, number one of being a bank colleague or a hostage, a bank robbery. Don't push the I'm bank. In. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, I the, the, the manager does that. I. God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. I'm stuck here. Though. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you better be quick. You shut the hell up and stay still. All right. I didn't even hear that crack or there you go. I didn't even hear the second one like ping or anything. Uh, loot. Come on, make it quick. I hear people out there. Alright, calm down. Boys, you need to move this along. How are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. They really are impatient. I suppose I would be too if I was robbing a bank. And I wasn't the one doing the safe cracking. That's four grand. Or oh, four hundred, I couldn't tell. I think it's four grand. Alright, hey, back to this again. Should have blown it. Dynamite is the bank robber's friend. Well, in the Wild West. Not so much today. That's another one cleared. 
This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna get the last two though. I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Man, and no one's walked in, and no one's realized the bank is under siege. So I'm in no rush. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Okay, that went off without, a, without any real problem. Something's bound to happen though. Why would you shoot them? You'd wait, you'd wait, surely you'd wait until they shot first. And what is happening with my... Oh, there you go. See that? Like the 3D model for the corp is static or shaking or whatever. Anyway, let's get out of here. That's right. shooting at said something like, you know, you're as good a shot as Arthur Morgan. Not Landon Ricketts. Most of the people I've shot so far have been, I've done it with headshots. We got more coming in. See, I shot that guy's hat off, and then shot him in proper order to do things in. We won't count all the time and say, so like, yo, hit them and they didn't die. But no point mentioning. Oh! Alright, I did not hit the horse, just to clarify. And I hit the guy, and the guy came off the horse, and the horse went flying. I do like to clarify those, because I hate the idea that I shot a horse in this. Oh no! Oh, they All right. I think we lost them. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. 
Yeah, right, the second part of this mission. I'm probably only going to do this one, this one mission for this uh, part, for this video. Uh, then I'll do a few more then in the next one. Plus, I think there's one hell of a... I don't know if it does a scene transition from the Downs Ranch back to camp. Because if it doesn't, that's one hell of a, like, 10, 15 minute ride, it feels like. See the family of the man I beat to a pulp. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Hey, there you go. A little transition there. So I don't have to ride all the way back to camp. I prefer it when they do this, or they give you the option to fast travel with someone. Because I did one job with Javier, and my god, it like takes you up into the mountains, and after you finish it, you have to ride back on your own. Ah, and it's literally like the further, one of the furthest points. I think it's like around, not too far from where you start. It's literally up in the snowy, is it Armadino? Something like that? Ugh. Alright, that's the end of the mission. Cool. Um, now I'm going to call it a day here, I think. I know this one's been pretty short compared to some of my others. Well, no, it's been about 25 minutes, thereabouts. Uh, right, well, if you could leave a like, a uh, comment, and hit that subscribe uh, button, that would help a great deal and would be very much appreciated. I know I've mentioned it before, but, you know, if you've gotten this far, you may as well hit one of those, do one of those three things. If you wait for the end screen, you will get two suggestions for walkthroughs, a uh, playlist, and so on on my channel you might be interested in. For now though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, please do look after yourself, please take care, 
and I'll see you next uh, in the next part, which should be up fairly soon. Hey, see you Arthur. then. What's going on? Oh, I've started another mission. Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. Oh, all right, that little... Okay. The Abigail okay. part was just literally that. All right, well, that sets up the next bit. I'll be working for Hosea in the next uh, part. Anyway, that's pretty much it for now, so until the next episode, you'll, you know the spiel, look after yourself, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Ta-da.